Now at five, the Florida Department of Health has updated and revamped its coronavirus website. The change is bringing more information to the public. CBS 4 Steve Goldstein has a look at some of the new features. He continues our team coverage. So the state has changed the layout of the website and there's some new information. This is the home page we see on the left side, the case count, hospitalizations and deaths updated 11 a.m. daily. Our second tab is Florida testing up to 384,000 people tested. That's approaching 2% of the state's population. Positive tests currently stand at 8.8%. Next tab we go to is cases by county. Now we have a drop down menu. This is new from the top. So you see every county listed in the state of Florida. Let's go to Broward County for example. There we see 4,800 plus positive residents. Now down at the bottom part of the page, this is new. We now have a gender pie chart breakdown and we also have case by race now listed. Back down to our bottom tabs, a new tab, health metrics. And this really gives you an idea of what's happening. Up top on the left, we have emergency room visits with flu-like symptoms. We see where it was peaking and we see what's gone on since. Below that, again, emergency room visits. This for COVID-19 symptoms. So you see the flu-like symptoms and the COVID-19-like symptoms, well, they really do mirror each other. Top right, we've got documented new cases. And then here at the bottom right, we have percent positive of tests. So we see this is the target range, the gray. We've kind of touched on it, gone in and out of that target range where the medical experts want to be. Right now, this is actually good news. We see we are trending down with the positive tests and in that target range. Now that there's nearly two months of data, as you saw, we can really see where we've been and how we got to the point we're at now. You can go inside the numbers yourself. We have a link on our website, cbsmiami.com. In the newsroom, Steve Goldstein, CBS 4 News.